privilege of finishing this recording with him. It was the most special thing of my life. You know, my father had the greatest capacity in the world through his love, through his beauty, through his sweet laugh, to connect heaven and earth in the deepest way. He gave me this gift before he left the world when we were making this recording. And now I'm finishing this while my father is in heaven. He's giving me a new taste of heaven right now. Heaven is so much sweeter with him in it. When my father was born, he was born into one of the darkest times of the world. It seemed like every gate was closed. And through his Havas Yisrael, through his prayers, through his songs, he crashed open the gates of heaven for all of us. He paved a path and now he showed us all how we can get to heaven by singing his songs, his sweet songs. I bless all of us that this album should help us get there, that his sweet voice should light up the world forever. This story is to him. I miss you so much. When Heliger Reb Yitzhak Fokker left the world, when he went to heaven, everyone was so broken, especially his holy son, Reb Mendel Avukar, and his best friend, the Kotzka Rebbe, Gewalt. And they were the best friends, the Kotzka and the Vukar, even though their ideas on life were so different. In Kotzk, truth is the most important thing in the world. By the Vukar, loving people was the most important thing. When the Helig left the world, you know our Rebbe's were so close to the other world. His son Mendela was so concerned, he was sure his father would come to him, in a dream at least. It was four weeks, and he hadn't heard from his holy father. So Mendela went to his father's best friend, the Helig He said, Rebbe, I'm so worried about my father. I haven't heard from him in four weeks. The Kotzka Rebbe said, Mendela, I know. I was also sure your father would come to me and tell me what, what's happening to him in heaven. It was four weeks. I also didn't hear from him. So I decided, if he's not coming to me, I have to go to him. I went up to heaven. I set my soul up to heaven. I went to all the palaces. I went to the palace of Rashi, of the Rambam, of Helig Avram Avinu, of David HaMelech. Everywhere I went, I said, where's my best friend, the Heliga Rebbe, the Fukur? And everywhere I went, they said, ah, oh, he was here, but he left. I finally went to the angel, I said, where's my best friend? I need him so much. And they said, God's Rebbe, you have to go through a very dark forest, and you'll find him at the other end. I summoned all my strength, all my courage. I went through a forest, the darkest forest in the world. When I came to the other end, suddenly I saw an ocean. And I never heard waves, I never heard waves crying this way. Every wave went up to heaven. And there, I see leaning on a stick. He's leaning on a stick He couldn't take his eyes off the ocean I said to him, my friend, 
Yitzhak, I've missed you so much. What are you doing here? And he said, Mendele, do you recognize the ocean? And I said, no, what is it? He said, this is the ocean of tears. This is the ocean of tears. All the tears of God's holy people, of all of Israel, all the tears. And I swore to God, I swore to God that I would not leave the ocean until the one, until the only one, until he dried all the tears. Thank you so much for trying my tears. I'll cry for you forever. Thank you.